Hey, crypto family. So, batten down the hatches and take cover because everything is going down. I, along with a lot of people, were not expecting what happened today. Um, I know this is crazy. Bitcoin's down 12%, down to 6465 dollars. Ethereum's down 21%. A lot of people think it's the end for Ethereum. I'm one of those people. Um, you know, there's not been a lot of good news about it lately. And if you're holding Ethereum, I really recommend you know considering taking some off the table or potentially investing in other altcoins. But again, not financial advice, just my opinion. But again, we have most of these altcoins down 10, 20, some even 30%. And actually one of the coins, Bitcoin Diamond is up 110%. And I'll go over why that's up, but that's kind of funny while everything else is down so much out of all coins, Bitcoin Diamond. But looking at the chart here for Bitcoin, so I'm going to go over exactly why Bitcoin went down today and why some altcoins are up versus others. So as you've seen right now, we're declined. Um, I mean, we've literally lost over two weeks worth of value in under a day. And, you know, Bitcoin's just under 6,400 right now. Looking at the daily chart here, we can see that, you know, Bitcoin did creep up above that 128 day moving average that I said was resistance, but then it sunk right back down through the 50 day moving average. And right now it's hovering just above the previous strong support it has at about 6,100 where we bounced at last time, um, last month, last August. So right now it looks like there's a little bit of bottom feeding going on and a little bounce because we were really oversold. I mean, if you go on the four hour chart here, you can kind of get a better idea of just how much we dropped in this short time frame. Now, a lot of people were looking at the 200 day moving average for the four hour and that was strong support here. You can see it bounced off it a couple weeks ago, but it was not able to hold that 200 day support and it fell right through it. And, and you know, Bitcoin's hit a low today of $6,181, which is absolutely crazy. Um, this is probably the biggest drop I've seen in Bitcoin in such a short amount of time. So in saying that, um, you know, if you are holding right now, just kind of recommend, you know, still, I mean, you might as well hold. A lot of people are thinking around 5,000 to 5,500 is the bottom. So again, you know, could have a little bit more to go, but you know, right now it's just kind of in choppy territory if we're going to bounce and if so, how much, but looking at exactly why Bitcoin is down today, as well as other cryptos. Um, the main news article going around today is Goldman Sachs kind of delaying their plans to open the crypto trading desk. So if you remember a couple months ago, Goldman Sachs came out, you know, pretty bullish on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency saying, you know, they've, they've seen, um, everyone, you know, wanting to invest in cryptocurrency. So they would start opening a trading desk, which was, you know, planning to open by the end of June, 2018. Now, Goldman Sachs, one of those banks that they want to be at the forefront of everything. So, you know, everyone was behind them on this. Everyone was excited about it. But now it says business insider reports citing unnamed sources that the bank has lowered the priority of this project as the regulatory environment in the crypto industry remains unclear. It might take many steps before a regulated bank could trade digital assets, most of them outside Goldman Sachs control, source reportedly reveals. And there's a quote from Goldman Sachs. It says, at this point, we have not reached a conclusion on the scope of our digital asset offering. Now, you know, they aren't gonna fully reject crypto. It says here that they're gonna work on building a custody product for crypto, which allows you know them to hold cryptocurrency on behalf of large clients and track its price, which is something that Bank of America is looking at doing and a couple other companies. But you know, in saying that, this did create some FUD. Now, I personally don't think this is the only reason um, for the decline today, because we've seen much, you know, a lot of worse news that didn't have the price drop that we had today. So I'm gonna go over another article that kind of explains it more in a big picture sense. It says, this AI tracked unusual market behavior before today's big crypto drop. So. Many people may already know, but you know, a lot of AIs, artificial intelligence um, algorithms are trading cryptocurrencies. Before they were in stocks, and then they slowly started introducing into cryptocurrencies, probably towards the beginning of the year, maybe just before the beginning of the year. But it's um, one of those things that's creating a lot of volatility. If you heard of the Bart Simpson algorithm, where you'd have the charts you know, rising up a lot, consolidating a little bit, and then dropping down, and then consolidating a little bit and spiking up. That was the Bart Simpson algorithm a lot of people were talking about. And um, AIs are just, again, they're, they're trading, they're doing algorithmic trading based off of, just based off of a lot of different factors. But basically it says here that 
analysts were questioning, um, you know, whenever you had that big short I mentioned a couple videos ago, when someone took out 10,000 BTC worth of shorts in such a short amount of time, and then you had a buyer that was absorbing them. And that was a big controversy as to what exactly that was, if it was a group of people. But they're saying here that they're speculating that, you know, it could be some insider trading because they knew this news would come up and they were using someone else to kind of cover it so it wouldn't have that much effect in the market. But again, it's kind of anyone's guess. But it says here that it says, when the crypto drop occurred in the morning, for quite some time, traders were looking for news behind such unusual 10% drop move across the board. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and other tokens all decline on substantial volume. Later in the day, the catalyst was found, and it mentions the Goldman Sachs news. Many comments around this news were regarding potential insider trading and the fact that institutional buyers would like to get into the crypto space at lower levels, thus manipulating the markets. And then data scientist and market analysis from the Ronin AI team, an AI-based crypto signals platform, took a closer look into the situation to see any red flags. And it says there's some unusual indicators that spotted some unusual activity going on. And it says there's this social sentiment that basically when it gets above this certain level here, it's an kind of gets into that outlier, le outlier level and it only spikes up there, you know, 0.3% of the time. And usually that signifies there's unusual trading going on. So it says this chart doesn't indicate bullish or bearish, rather a sudden influx of activity that is not authentic. And you can see here, it did it one time, and then the second time it did it is right before the drop happened. So again, you know, there's a lot of people, about 10 to 15 minutes prior to the drop happening, that's when this indicator actually spiked. So of course, I mean, there's always insider trading going on. And in cryptos, it's probably more so than ever because it's not regulated. So again, you have that going on. Um, and that, that whole short thing, whenever we rise, you know, 10,000 um, Bitcoin worth of shorts in, you know, less than three hours. I mean, that was really strange. And that was, uh, that was something a lot of people were talking about. And I think that's something to do again with this drop and just a lot of insider trading going on and a lot of market manipulation because the market makers and other people trading, uh, they only want to see what, they only want you to see what they want you to see in a sense, basically meaning that, you know, if they have that manipulation with the shorts going on, it's because they wanted you to see it. So, I think there's definitely some insider trading going on and you know that's why i mentioned to always set your stops and take profits along the way so i mean and never get too greedy with markets because you know anytime it could drop like it's doing right now but in saying that um one of the other news articles i want to cover is bitcoin diamond exactly why it's up so much so basically it says uh Binance just reopened deposits and withdrawals for Bitcoin Diamond a couple hours ago, which could be driving the momentum. So this was earlier today in the morning. And um, I guess after Binance kind of halted withdrawals and deposits for Bitcoin Diamond, and you know now they finally opened them. And then also Bitcoin Diamond tweeted out about two hours after that, that they're excited to announce their BC, BCD Bazaar, which is their commerce site has negotiated partnerships with eight distributors who will be adding over 20,000 products. So, you know, <laughs> that's some news. Um, you know, I don't know if that was the only reason why it spiked, but, you know, I think that, I don't think it's a coincidence. So that's one of the reasons why we're seeing Bitcoin Diamond up so much. Um, I know some people are probably wondering about that. So, um, but again, you know, anytime there's like these random coins here that are spiking, I would not touch them because there's so much manipulation going on with these coins. And, you know, they barely have any volume and then they have over $60 million worth of volume in there. And that's definitely not something you want to be trading. Um, you know, you could possibly try to scalp some profits, but again, it's really risky with these trades. So always keep that in mind. But um, a couple of Twitter accounts I actually want to mention before I go here is this one guy, his name is Big at Big Chonis. And this guy does some technical analysis. He actually has some YouTube, two YouTube videos. And I came across him yesterday and one of his charts that he made was actually very interesting to me. You can see here, he posted this yesterday, September 4th, just before this drop happened. And you can see here, he quoted, he said, BTC patterns repeat on the Bitcoin daily chart. So you can see here now, he drew these trend lines here and basically he measured. So 13 degrees is this angle right here that I'm drawing. And then you have 40 degrees, which is this angle right here. Basically, Bitcoin bouncing off its you know, ascending trend line and then 
the descending trend line, he's drawing from Bitcoin's pre lower high that it made. And you can see that they make the same degree angles and then, um, and then he draws it again. And you can see each drop, it happens about three to $4,000. And on the second drop around 6th of May, it dropped from about $10,000 all the way to a low of 6,000. And this next drop, it dropped from about 8,200 to 6,000. And now we have about 7,300. And now we're almost at 6,000 again, potentially dropping lower. So it was one of those things where I didn't really, like it kind of made sense, but it was just so, it seemed like, you know, he was reaching a lot whenever he was doing this analysis. But that goes to show you how many times that patterns do repeat themselves. Now, whether it's just a coincidence, it's anyone's guess, but this guy seems to have some really good analysis. Um, if you watch his videos, he has a ton of indicators. He kind of combines them all to make a big picture. It doesn't just go off of one. So again, check him out. Uh, definitely looks like he's pretty good and on top of his game. And then another person I want to mention is M. Pawlowski. So Matt, if any of you know him, you know I've been following him for a long time, good friend of mine. And he's been calling the short on Bitcoin and the low of 5,400 for the longest time before anyone has. And you can see here eight hours ago, he said, so everyone is fine with longs being majority over shorts, but everyone is in utter disbelief when BTC shorts go over longs. So it just goes to show you never have your mind set on one bias. So never be biased long term, you know, long Bitcoin or short Bitcoin. Always have an open mind and trade accordingly. So this guy here, he knows Bitcoin better than anyone I know and definitely give him a follow. It's at M underscore Pawlowski. And he's definitely a good guy and knows his stuff. So be on the lookout and, um, you know, he'll keep posting. And, you know, he definitely believes Bitcoin's going to be in the low 5,000s here. So keep watching that. And I don't see any reason why it can't go there. Um, like I mentioned, right now the support is about 6,100. If you go to the daily chart and 5,800. So if we can hold these two levels, you know, good. Then we can try to bounce up to previous highs. But if not... Then again, we could be going towards that $5,000 level that a lot of people are looking at. So just keep that in mind. And um, again, don't let this you know depress you. I know it's kind of, it sucks that Bitcoin's declining so much right now as well as other cryptos. But again, you know, if you are in this long term, then just know that this will eventually blow over and we'll be on our ways to new highs, hopefully towards the end of the year. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, thanks for watching.